Welcome back, or if you're new here, I am Amy from A Red Spatula, and today I am gonna show you how to make these small batch snickerdoodle cookies. Now, sometimes you want a batch that's gonna make four dozen cookies, and then sometimes you just want six cookies. That's exactly what this recipe is, so let me show you how. Mix together your cinnamon sugar. I like to get everything ready before I start. You're gonna set this aside, and then next we're gonna to mix together our dry ingredients and set these aside as well. After that's done, we're gonna to cream together our butter and sugar. Now this recipe only calls for one tablespoon of egg yolk. So you can see, I just kind of break apart the egg yolk and then I measure it out and put it into the cookie batter or cookie dough. I know that it seems kind of weird, but trust me, one tablespoon is all that you need for this recipe. Now, once the eggs are in, it's gonna mix very quickly. You can see that it only takes just a couple seconds. Do not overdo this, otherwise you're gonna wind up with tough cookies. Now, the same thing follows when you add in your dry ingredients you do not want to over mix these. So be sure to only mix it until it just comes together. Now, once the cookie dough is done, we're gonna measure it out and we're gonna roll it in our cinnamon sugar. I made my cookies about two tablespoons. You can always make these smaller and do 12 cookies, 12 small cookies as opposed to six regular size cookies, but I really like this size of cookie. So measure it out, roll it in your cinnamon sugar. I like to bake these on a parchment lined baking sheet. You can see it goes on here just for easy cleanup. I would say you don't have to use it, but it just makes it so much easier for cleanup. Now, one of the keys to baking snickerdoodles is that you don't wanna over bake them. All that you want is them to just be lightly golden brown on the edges. You can see what they're gonna look like once they come out here. Now, these are a thick and chewy cookie. They are just exactly what a snickerdoodle should be. The, all of the ingredients and measurements are gonna be in the description. I didn't list them in the video, but you can find them there. And I would love to hear if you try this recipe.